Hey there, and welcome to our wallet tutorial series. Today, I'm going to walk you through the process of how to stake using our Fetch wallet. If you haven't downloaded the Fetch wallet yet, please make sure to follow the link in the description or our pinned comment to get the browser extension before you continue. Once you actually have an account and everything is signed in, click the stake button right here that is located underneath your available balance. You'll then be taken to a page that shows you a list of all of the validators on the network, which you are going to be choosing one of these to stake your funds with. Please be aware that although you are delegating to a validator, you are not actually giving them access to your FET. It is only operated and controlled by yourself. If you want to learn more details about a validator before you're actually going to choose them, go ahead and check out the View and Explorer link that is located just below the basic info of a validator you're considering. Once you've actually selected the validator that you want to go ahead with, just click on their name on the menu, then input the amount of FET you would like to actually stake with them, keeping in mind that there is no minimum. So for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to just simply stake one FET. Then once I've decided, you will select stake. Then you will scroll down here. This is the fee that you will pay, which is a fraction of a cent in FET. You then hit approve. You await the transaction to be broadcasted, and there we go. It shows us that our transaction is complete, and we are now staking with Polkachu. If you wanted a reminder as well on how much you're actually staking with a validator, all you will need to do is use this search bar located at the top of the staking page, and then search up the name of the validator that you put your stake with. Then select their name, and as you can see here, it shows me the current amount that I have staked with them. Another good thing to note as well is that outside of the basic info that is provided on the validator page, if you do click into a validator, you will see the description that they have provided that allows you to get to know them a little bit better. And of course, to simply try and claim rewards, you would just select claim and then approve the transaction, which we don't need to do because I just staked. But yeah, that pretty much covers it for how you actually go about staking using the Fetch wallet. Thank you for watching.